I'm here today to talk about zooming the on-ramp to Kubernetes with Knative. So just a quick introduction for everyone here. Uh, my name is Brenda Chang. I'm located in Toronto, Canada. Uh, my current role at VMware is the engineering director for VMware Tanzu Developer Experience. However, within the Knative community, I've been on the steering committee since the bootstrap phase in 2019. Uh, during my time on steering, we've worked towards a completely community elected technical oversight committee or TOC in steering committee. In October 2020, we formed the trademark committee and one really neat thing we're focusing on right now is actually defining Knative conformance and working towards a set of conformance test suites for when we plan to 1.0 this year. So Kubernetes is awesome. I probably don't need to say more than that since we are at KubeCon after all. But really, Kubernetes has allowed us to normalize our infrastructure abstraction. We have a thriving ecosystem and large community. Thank you for all of those who are actually here today. And honestly, Kubernetes extensibility has proven to be extremely valuable and powerful. The thing is, is that Kubernetes can actually be pretty hard. Uh, in the CNCF survey report in 2020 to the question, what are your challenges in using and deploying containers? The main challenge that the respondents actually replied with was that it was complex. And I'd really like to spend some time today to explore that because it really doesn't need to be that hard. So let's actually try this out. Uh, let's run a stateless web server. So you have me there on the left, the, the Kubernetes engineer with 20 years of experience. So first you'll wanna create a deployment object. You open up Vim, you create some YAML, make sure your indentation looks good, great. You kubectl apply the deployment, so far so good. All right, so now you create a Kubernetes service, uh, you specify the port, ensure you're targeting the right app, and again, you kubectl apply that. So now you need to make sure you can route traffic to your service. So let's create an ingress. Uh, ensure you have the right service name and port, kubectl apply that, awesome. And you're happy, and this is awesome because it just works. But let's do this again. Uh, you may need to update something, maybe the image changed, the port changed, who knows. So again, you go through the same thing, you update your deployment YAML, kubectl apply. You may update the service, kubectl apply. Update the ingress, kubectl apply. You're pretty used to this by now. And this might be you, not the worst, but gosh, the maintenance of the sprawling YAML files are really annoying. And then before you know it, we're updating YAML, we're kubectl applying. And at this point, you probably have an intimate understanding of Kubernetes pods. You know everything about labels and horizontal pod auto scaling. And at this point, you might have checked in your YAML to share with your team. You're doing code reviews for all of this YAML. And at this point, you really take a step back and wonder, am I just a YAML engineer? The thing is, it really doesn't have to be this way. With Knative Serving, we've simplified a lot of that. So you, as a person writing and deploying the app, can focus on what matters to you. With Knative Serving, you get auto-scaling, deployment, ingress, automatic DNS, all created and managed for you. You can easily handle traffic splitting, and after all, that's what you probably do care about. With Knative Eventing, it allows you to move towards an event-driven architecture and decouple event delivery from your application code. By using Knative Eventing's source, broker, and trigger, and standardizing on cloud events application, you simplify that process for you. The point I really get, wanna get across here is that it really doesn't have to be that hard. You don't need to have this exploding brain feeling, modifying YAML, learning all of these concepts, code reviewing YAML when it could be this. Focus on what matters to you. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to visit the Knative site, join the Slack channel or follow the Twitter account. Everyone in the community is extremely welcoming and everyone is welcome to join. I'm also happy to chat more. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. And that's it. Thanks, everyone.